Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. This is a place where um, things that I've missed out on on life, I finally catch up with. Things that were there, but I like to think I just wasn't, just wasn't ready. I grew up caring a lot about the perception on my music taste, right? So I was a really soft kid, so I wanted to be perceived as harder, so I listened to metal. I wasn't overly confident with girls, nor was I too confrontational, so I listened to hip hop to try to be that. Don't get, get me wrong though, I still, like, I, I do also love a lot of that music, but now that I'm ready, I've been enjoying some of the stuff that was around me. Your Billy Joel's country older rock so today finally really making their appearance on the channel is simon and garfunkel okay so there's songs that i remember that like my my whole family would uh listen i grew up with four older brothers right and my brothers were just like they listened to grunge so i actually do really like grunge music but when we were you know driving along with my dad and stuff uh, i do remember simon and garfunkel being in the car quite a bit and there's a few songs that they just stick with you right and here's to you Mrs. Robinson, right? Like, it wasn't cool enough for me, though. So we're going to listen to The Boxer, thanks to a very kind and generous to uh, donation from Larry. Larry says, we've introduced you to many great singers and songwriters. Let me introduce you to the best. So Simon and Garfunkel being called some of the best songwriters. We have, we have of course, like, the sound of silence, right? And the disturbed covering that. We, we've checked that out on the channel that made just an impact globally. The songwriters were Simon Garfunkel. My wife, Allie, made a video for her dad's 70th birthday, and it was awesome. They got, like, interviews from some of his friends growing up. And one of his best friends from when they were in high school talked about, like, yeah, we were in this parking lot listening to Simon and Garfunkel. It's just um, unreal to me that the, cu the cool music back in the day was the good stuff. We lost, I, I, like, I just find that fascinating. Simon and Garfunkel was cool. So it's just fascinating. So we're listening to The Boxer. Um, I don't want to look up any more context behind that. No, 99% chance that there's a riff or something in there that I recognize from our drives in the car, but, but here we go. Thank you for coming and hang out. That's beautiful. Hold up. That's beautiful, dude. Such are promises. All lies and chests, still a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. So it's more folk, they're more folk, right? When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy in the company of strangers. The quiet of the railway station when I'm scared. What is that instrument? Seeking out the poor quarters where the ragged people go, looking for the places only they would know. Beautiful. I recognize that. I recognize this. Okay, hold up. A thousand percent have heard that that part. And then the transition to that. I'm trying to make out the meaning here, so we'll we'll pull up the lyrics later, but the contrast there. It's like beautiful, so, like it, there's a lot of serenity there, but it's like almost sad. And then this, I don't know how to describe that chorus. We call it a chorus, there's no words. Asking only workmen's wages I come looking for a job But I get no offers mm. Just to come on from the wars On 7th Avenue mm. Okay I do declare There were times when I was so lonesome I took some comfort there La 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 The guitar is fantastic. Hey. 
It's gotta come back here in the chorus, right? Yeah. I, I have heard this hundreds of times growing up. This, I recognize this. New York City winters are bleeding me. New York City winters suck. In the clearing stands a boxer and a fighter by his train, and he carries the reminders of every glove that laid him down or cut. Till he cried out in his anger and his shame, I am leaving, I am leaving, but the fire still remains. I'm gonna pause it, it's soon. It, that is so fire, dude. The song's completely unexpected. You would think it's like, all right. The we got we got this melody, we got this like riff, guitar, you know, riff, verse, chorus, verse, chorus random layers at random points clearly it must be symbolizing something so we'll think give it some thought here in a sec it comes across like it's gonna be just this very basic easy typical song but it is not it's actually pretty complex and quite uh i i think like uh beethoven-esque like just beautiful purposeful layer makes the song move there's so many layers i'm actually not really i can't really listen to the lyrics i want to run that chorus i mean verse and then into the chorus back a little bit in his anger and his shame I am so they're, they're also getting more energetic here the fight still remains the fight still remains is this a story about rocky Nice, we're repeating it. The song's called The Boxer. Cool. Man, we're going. We're going again, bro. This is fascinating. I feel like it's like his voice is getting drowned out. And then it goes into that happy. I can't tell if this is like a happy, peaceful song or not. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I this song feels like it's gonna need to have multiple parts because I'm gonna be thinking about it for a bit. I think I don't know. All right. So it's like this hap. It, well, this peaceful folky song. But as I was listening, it, the the words that I was getting, it, it felt like a sad story though. I'm just a poor boy through my story seldom told. I have squandered my resistance for pocket full of mumbles. My jeez. I mean, again, these are the guys that wrote Sound of Silence, so they're incredibly poetic, right? Such are promises, all lies and jest. Still a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. Oh, gosh. When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy, in the company of strangers in the quiet of the railway station. Running scared, laying low, seeking out the poorer quarters where the ragged people go, looking for places only they would know. Yeah, and, I, uh, and 
I, again, I recall them talking about New York City, and I used to live there, you know, pretty poor there. Like, a lot of that, like, kind of hits and resonates. So I felt like then in that chorus, the sound, that, like, drum sound, it felt very uh, urban. Um, I don't know, like, New York City is very loud. I don't know, kind of just the way it, it resonated. Maybe it's my sound system or whatnot. I felt like the choruses were almost like, we we then looked at the city as a whole and there was just noise but then when we zoom back into this guy's story it's this like folksy soft-spoken song so he's looking for a job can't get one i do declare there were times that i was so lonesome i took some comfort there oh just a come on from the whores on seventh avenue this is having a hard time so he needs yeah Jeez, now the years are rolling by me. They are rocking evenly. I am older than I once was and younger than I'll be. I am older than I once was and younger than I'll... Like, who says that? It's interesting how sometimes you say something that's like so obvious, but verbalizing it like very succinctly is like powerful for some reason. How interesting is that? It's like when uh, Keanu Reeves was asked, what happens when we die? He just says, the ones that will that love us will miss us. Like just such an obvious thing, but when you verbalize it that short and sweet, it then is like a powerful revelation. Nor is it strange after changes upon changes, we are more or less the same. After changes, we are more or less the same. Yeah. Boom, chorus, getting drowned out again. Zoom back into the dude. Laying out my winter clothes and wishing I was gone going home. Where the New York City winters aren't bleeding me. Gosh, that just takes me back, dude. Again, I was a missionary in New York City, right? So we didn't have barely anything. And I remember trying to talk to people in the street. My face just, I, could, I, I came to a point I couldn't speak anymore because I couldn't even move my jaw because it was like frozen. Yeah, just remember that. <clears throat> bleeding me going home. He wants to escape this, this life he's in. In the clearing stands a boxer and a fighter by his trade, and he carries the reminders of every glove that laid him down or cut him till he cried out in his anger and his shame. I am leaving, I am leaving, but the fighter still remains. <clears throat> and then boom. I didn't know, no, notice this. So we got the super long lie la lies. Does that really happen? Saying I love you there at the end? Wait, sorry. Yeah, there's like an echo there of... There's an echo of him saying I love you there at the end. The boxer is considered one of Paul My Simon's masterpieces, telling the story of a young boy who laments his poverty and then turning to that of a boxer. Huh. It was first suggested the lyrics were meant as a dig at Bob Dylan, but Paul Simon has noted they are largely autobiographical, written at a time when he felt unfairly attacked. The lie la lie refrains the lie la lie's possible meaning has also been a source of disputes. I thought the lie la lie was a failure of songwriting. I didn't have any words. Then people said it was a lie, but I didn't really mean that. Every time I sing that part, I'm a little embarrassed. So it's because he couldn't figure out words. But you can't help but think that the rest is just so poetic that it's like it's like almost just like the natural a natural sound that would come with it. I don't maybe. Homie clearly tapped into something because that is a complex poem, dude. Reach number seven, Billboard's Hot 100. So um, if you guys are new here, I, I, I use some software to cut out some of these silences. Um, I've been filming this video actually for 20 minutes. Like I'm just spending a lot of time sitting here. Because what was hitting me hard, what hit me hard is then the the last Lila La La section that was very long. It made me sad. Because we're hearing the story of this guy who's having such a hard time. But then again, we, we, we zoom out. We're hearing all of these sounds. The Lila La La starts kind of getting crowded and we lose his voice, like in a way. And, and it just made me think of like, there are so many people fighting these rough battles. But because there are so many of us and so many things going on around us, all of our stories in a way kind of get drowned out. And that's not saying that as like a, we have to do something about it. it. Like, this is what? This is our predicament. It's why we need family and community. Because when the scale is just too big, we what do we do? I know growing up, we heard this song and I was probably like, all right, that's nice. 
I didn't think the song was as complex as it was. That's why, I, Larry, thank you for like, sponsoring this video because, yeah, just all these things. You just appreciate so much more now. To close, again, this was like the stuff my father-in-law was listening to in high school. The freak our high schoolers listening to today. Nothing that would make, like, evoke such thought, I think. Hmm. This is a weird video, but let me do these. So I am very eager to hear from you guys. Please comment down below. Before you go, I just want to show something that all of you who are, you know, donating, tipping, um, where all your funds is going is just to this little tool we're building. It may be just for our channel, just on its own, but I kind of want to make this for content creators, like a way for them to not need to read their comment sections and in essence, just get like a, a gist. Sometimes you get too many, many comments that it is just impossible to read through them all, but I want to listen to my audience, right? So overwhelmingly like positive. I, I I feel like the negative is going to be around like lamenting. So let's go here. A lot of people just strong emotional connection because of this kind of the, the video evokes a range of emotions such as love, nostalgia, sadness and inspiration. Still may, makes my heart ache and sore. Songs of my childhood. Like again, these were people's childhoods. This sort of music. The artistry. Several commenters reference the lyrics of the song, particularly the line, but the fighter still remains. Well, I appreciate that because I kind of, yeah, we, we read through the lyrics and noticed that, but the, these comments suggest that the audience identifies with the themes of resilience and perseverance portrayed in the video. Yeah, because the entire thing is like sad. But yeah, there is that line, but the fighter still remains. Hmm. An American classic. A song doesn't survive so many generations if it doesn't have that sort of impact on people, man. Freaking fascinating. Guys, thank you for clicking on this video and hanging out. Again, longer than I intended, but... You can blame Larry for that one. Much love, everybody. Thank you for being here. We'll see you all soon.